Hey Hickok 45 here. You're looking at a flat dark earth M&P 9mm. I don't guess we've done a video with just a standard M&P mid-sized 9mm. You know, we've done the Shield, we've done the Pro Series and a 5 inch and even a compact 40 I think long ago. This is, uh, I guess you could say a counterpart to maybe a Glock 19 or 17. This is their uh, 9mm pistol, you know, uh, if you wanted a nice, not too small, 9mm and the M&P, this would be it. There's uh, nothing necessarily custom about it other than the sights, which we'll talk about. No extra trigger work or anything. And if you do notice the sights, this is the VTAC model. And those that stands for Viking Tactical. These sights are uh, both night sights and day sights. You see you have your uh, fiber optic uh, very high visible uh, sights and then you also have your tritium inserts in there trigicon so this is the concept i think is to you know have both if you've messed with night sights much in your life then you know that there are a lot of really good night sights that just really jump out at you when it's dark but most of them do not jump out at you in the daylight and uh, this solves a lot of that that problem you've got both so it's a little bit maybe a little bit higher than some other sites not much and uh, you got the best of both worlds with this you got really uh, visible sites for shooting in the daylight like right now those really jump out at you and uh, I took this into a dark room and it, <laughs> they just reversed you don't see those and you see the night sights so it's pretty cool pretty cool let's take a couple shots with it as I say this is a four and a quarter inch slide or barrel M&P 9 millimeter. we're shooting some American Eagle 115 grain ammo and let's just see how it does or how I can do with it let's try old Mr. Cowboy to begin with yeah okay how about Mr. Two Liter <laughs> oh, nice the trigger breaks way back bad not bad <laughs> mr. propane let's see if it's gong worthy I'm not sure where to hold this right there is a good place to start okay uh, trigger breaks way back uh, don't remember that on the other ribbon peas necessarily it, it's a little bit like the Beretta 92 uh, it breaks way back here, but it's a pretty nice break. You know, see, it triggers all the way back there before it breaks. And the reset, uh, not a bad reset. Reset's right there. And then it breaks right back there. Okay. And again, that's partly my long fingers and my big hand. I would like the trigger to break about right there, but uh, that's not always going to happen, is it? <laughs> it's a good feeling pistol. We put the, uh, the larger back strap on it. It comes with three of those, and you can replace those. You just turn this and pull it out and put the other one on. So that fills uh, my hand a little bit better. And uh, this is a, a firearm that a viewer lent us, and he had a different back strap in it. His hands are smaller than mine. Everybody's hands are smaller than mine. So there it is, flat dark earth. Uh, that's the uh, color that the VTAC model comes in. I think the only color it comes in. So another option from Smith and Wesson in an M&P nine millimeter. So let's try it again. Seems to shoot pretty well. Got a few more rounds. Well, I'll put it in my universal uh, Glock 30 holster here. Seems to fit <laughs> like everything does. Oh, what do we want to shoot? Whoops. Let's try the uh, turkey over there. <laughs> well, let's just try that chicken next to it. <laughs> you know, I just had a feeling I could hit it eventually. Uh, oh, I see some cinder blocks on the barrel. 
popped them a couple times. <laughs> I'm just throwing lead. I'll slow down a little bit. We'll take a couple more shots with it. M and P, uh, you know that, that that is one of the most popular uh, polymer pistols these days. I have to say they have uh, really made a name for themselves. They, uh, I think, I, I maybe, I maybe, I don't know, really. I guess uh, if if people are not Glock fans or they just want a different type of polymer pistol, uh, seems that the M and P or the uh, XD. XDS or the XDMs that kind of rain over over the Glock for some folks, and uh, and they are good pistols. The the M and P I know is used uh, pretty widely in competition. People really uh, like it. They tend to want to do something with the trigger. I know in a lot of them, and uh, like that Pro Series gun I had with the Apex uh, spring or Apex uh, trigger work done on it was an incredible trigger, and uh, it's the same same owner actually of both these firearms but he's not done anything with the trigger on this one and it's actually not bad to tell you the truth it just breaks a little bit further rearward than I like but again you know I have a large hand and that's uh, that's part of it I, I had the 19 out here I was going to show you just the in size you know what you got most of us know the size of the, the Glock uh, 19 where it is and there's your you know, length of slide you got a little bit of a beaver tail there but that's how it compares you know, kind of in, in size. Yeah, I think the MMP is a little thicker maybe. It's just a little bit longer. You know, the the uh, grip, of course, is a good bit longer than a 19. You know, if you're thinking, oh, that'd be a cool carry gun. Well, maybe it would be, but that's uh, how much bigger it is. Okay. Got a nice beaver tail on it. And has a nice rail. And magazines uh, hold. It's a 17-round magazine, so... Obviously, it's got a longer grip because uh, the Glock 19 holds uh, 15 plus one. So this is 17 plus one. All right, let's go back to the holster and let's take a few shots with this gun. See how we like it. Uh, let's see. All right. a good little shooter I tell you like I say the trigger breaks back there pretty far but it has a nice break to it and uh, it's it's very uh, consistent of course but you you know when it's going to break and that's uh, that's nine tenths of the battle right there so the old MP they seem to work well uh, you know you're you're looking at a Glock person I guess so a lot of people would call me because uh, I've uh, I've been a uh, old I guess a supporter of that that uh, that firearm for a long time but boy there's a lot of good ones out there and uh, the Smith & Wesson the M&P it was one of them I can't uh, deny that pretty nice little gun you got two sights in one for day and for night pretty cool life is good